Hey guys, welcome to Aussie Rush. Valentine's Day is coming soon, and I thought these wired rings would make a cute little gift for your lover or just for yourself. We will make a rose ring and a two heart ring. So let's start. You will need a 22 and a 30 gauge wire, but of course you can use any gauge wire you want, and I'm using floral wire. A cylinder that is close to your finger width, and these three pliers. We will start with our rose ring. Use 30 gauge wire and cut two wires that are about 9 to 10 inches long. The longer the wire, the bigger the rose. Then cut one wire that is one inch longer than the previous two. Wrap the longest wire around the other two, like so. I feel this will give the ring a viney look. Once you reach the end, cut the unevenness off on both ends. Then you will have something like this. Use a cylinder that is relatively close to the width of your finger. Wrap the wire around the cylinder. Once the two ends meet up, you are going to twist them, which will form a rose shape. Just keep twisting until you hit the end. Then slide the ring out of that cylinder. Wrap the plier with a cone shape and take the end wire wrap it around the ring. And cut off the extra. This way will secure the rose form. Do the same on the other side. Now you have our rose ring. Next, we will make this two heart ring. For this one, use 22 gauge wire and cut it at about 5 to 6 inches long. I like to start making a heart on one end first. This is a bit difficult to explain, so please just watch what I'm doing here on making the heart shape. Adjust the shape if you need to. Then wrap around a cylinder object. The second part will be on top of the first heart. So mark where the second one will be with a plier. Then slide the ring out. Now, make the second heart. I'm making it a bit smaller than the first one.
Once you've made the sucking heart, slide it back to the cylinder and flatten the hearts and adjust the ring. Cut off the extra wire, slide it out again. You can leave it like this if you want, but I'm going to close the gap with a thinner wire. I'm using 30 gauge wire and cut two that are about 3 inches long. Then wrap it around the gap area. After done wrapping, slide the ring back to the cylinder and adjust the shape once more. Then it's all done. You can wear this on any finger since it is very easy to adjust. I hope this is helpful and make sure to hashtag AussieRush on Instagram if you have recreated anything based on my tutorials. I would love to see them. Check out previous tutorial on Sheep Memo Holder which will also make a great gift for your loved ones. Subscribe if you like what I do and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!